Hi, welcome to Cruise Day Fun. My name is Joy and this is my husband Dan. Hey! So today we're going to ask a question. We're going to ask a question that we've heard others asking. And we're going to try to answer that question. The question is, is a cruise balcony worth it? Yes. No, uh, uh, don't <laughs> answer yet. <laughs> Sorry. The answer may be different for everybody. I think we know her answer. <laughs> <laughs> everybody tunes out now. Oh boy. Stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to answer the question and give you all the details. If you're considering a cruise and you're thinking about paying a little extra for a cruise balcony, is it worth it? So, there are several different types of balconies. Generally speaking, there's three main categories, I'd say. Really? There's, yeah. <laughs> You've been on a cruise ship, right? Yeah. Okay. So, there's inside cabins, oh. there's ocean view cabins, and there's balcony cabins. Now, each of those categories have other types within it. For example, balcony cabins can include suites. They can include spa, uh, bal uh, spa balconies, which typically have special amenities related to the spa, which is actually usually very close to those balconies. There's also on uh, some ships like the Oasis class uh, Royal Caribbean ships, there are some balconies that don't even face the ocean. They actually face inward. Oh. And yeah, like they have a view of one of the uh, neighborhoods on those really large oh, ships instead yeah. of looking out onto the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a newer type um, which is a virtual balcony, which basically has a, uh, a view from a camera on the outside of the ship. It's actually an inside cabin with no windows at all and no balcony, and it's got a view out into the ocean. Oh. So we're talking ab today about balconies kind of in general. We're not talking about should you buy the President's Club suite. We're talking about if you get, you know, a standard balcony. Uh -huh. um, we've tried a couple different types of balconies. We've had balconies the most common type, which are on the side, one of the two sides of the ship. And we've also had a balcony, which uh, a couple times, which is an aft balcony, which oh, faces nice. yeah, the wake. So um, what would you say are some of the biggest advantages of a balcony cabin? Because in case I didn't make it clear, balcony cabins typically cost more than the inside or the ocean view uh, cabins, just so we're clear. So what are the biggest advantages of a balcony cabin? Advantages or disadvantages? Advantages. Let's start, advantages. With, the, let's start with the good stuff. Why so would you want it? The advantages is you have a little extra space outside that mm -hmm. you can enjoy the, the, the cruise with. Right. So you can have coffee or tea outside in the morning. I know that you like to do that. Or you can. I do. Another thing is you can watch the ship come into a port or sail out of a port. Yeah, if you don't want to be in the, the big crowd on the Lido deck or wherever the sail away party is, you can have a quieter sail away at your balcony. Good point. You have good, sometimes, access to watch the pier runners. <laughs> okay, well we might have to explain what that is for anybody that hasn't watched regularly. And let me just point out here too, if you're watching this video and you're stuck with us this far and you've been on many cruises and you already know what your answer to uh, whether or not a balcony cabin is worth it, Please, before you leave, stick with us and put in the comments your your argument for or against the balcony cabin. Yep. Please help put in us. The comments. Please help us for those of for those who haven't been on cruises or a lot of cruises and still aren't sure about a balcony cabin. But a balcony cabin can give, give you a view of the pier or the dock when you're in port, um, which is what you walk on when you go to and from the ship and into shore to the town or to the island, and. Uh, a pier runner. Now, what exactly is a pier runner and why would you want to see that? So a pier runner is someone who's running along the pier to catch the boat. So Because they're running late. Right. Right. <laughs> There's always a time they need to be back to the ship and it's typically a little before the ship actually plans to depart, which is a, a good thing because it's that first step can be real tough if the ship is already pulled away from the pier. And some people push the limits, especially if they, if they like to go into town, take a long excursion, or maybe go to Senior Frogs and enjoy a few more beverages and milk the time as close as possible. Exactly. And they end up having to run back to the ship. And it may sound mean, and we don't mean to be mean, but if you're somebody that has chosen to push the limits and you're trying to get back, there's one of two things that happen. The people on the balconies of the ship 
watch you and they cheer for you, hoping you'll make it back in time. Yep. Or there's people that boo you for being late. <laughs> so <laughs> holding the up choice, the ship. Yeah. The choice is up to you because yeah, the ships do tips do sometimes get delayed because uh, somebody stayed in in port too long. And sometimes so, they will leave without you if you're not will. if you don't come back in time. So we're getting off topic a little bit. The one of the advantages of a balcony is you're able to watch that extra type of show. Yes. Um, yeah. So um, the view um, also comes into play in the one cruise we've been on. We've only been on one cruise where we didn't get a balcony cabin. And it oh, might yeah, sound strange, but one of the best reasons to get a balcony is when you're cruising somewhere where there's going to be a lot of scenery. Because on a lot of cruises, you go into the Caribbean, for example, you're out at the ocean most of the time. And until you're, unless you're leaving or coming into a port, there's not much to see other than water, maybe an occasional ship. You might be quite lucky and be able to see a whale or something like that, some sort of sea life. But when we went and sailed the inner uh, passage of Alaska, we got an inside cabin. Yeah. And the reason for that, and I know you you probably have other pluses that you we could we could mention other positives uh, for a bucking cabin. One of the negatives is they cost more. And on an Alaskan cruise, at least the cruise we went on, they were a lot more. And that's because people realized the views were going to be stunning. On that occasion, we traveled with other people. We traveled with family members, and we knew we weren't going to all crowd onto one balcony and enjoy each other's company and enjoy the view. We knew we'd be heading to a public deck area. We headed a lot of times to that um, that bar overlooking the Lido deck mm -hmm. and enjoy the view from there. So, you know, maybe there's some times where it's not going to make a lot of sense. If you're not going to spend a lot of time in the balcony ca in, in on the balcony or in your cabin at all, mm -hmm. an inside cabin can work. Right. Or can you think of any other advantages to another type of cabin, like an inside cabin over a balcony cabin? Um, well. Besides it being cheaper, um, mm -hmm. it you know, you a lot of people just use it for sleeping and that's it. And you said on Change that, the clothes. right, yep, and they're like, why pay extra, and especially if it's a lot more, if you're not going to be in the cabin except for to sleep and to change. Well, on one cruise, the one cruise we were, did have an inside cabin, you said you slept very well. Yes. Do you remember why, why you slept so well oh, on that cruise? I'm, yes, it's because it gets dark really mm -hmm. dark. Usually there's sometimes light coming in from your balcony window mm -hmm. or there's always some kind of light coming underneath the door. Right. I don't, yeah, so, so there's always light but Right. So look at that look at that as an adva uh, an advantage of an inside cabin or a disadvantage for a balcony cabin, but that's it, it can be quieter. Um, the inside cabins, it varies from ship to ship and cruise line to cruise line, but the inside cabins do tend to be a little smaller. They tend to be a little more square in shape, I'd say. Yeah. Um, kind of centered around the size of the bed. Um, whereas a balcony cabin tends to be a little more elongated and a little larger. And uh, a lot of times we'll have uh, a little couch in addition to the um, some sort of seating in addition to the bed. Um, so the balcony cabins do tend to be a little larger. Yep, mm -hmm. a little desk area or a little makeup, uh, a little, little mirror and place where you to sit and do makeup. So exactly. um, there are other advantages to a balcony cabin. They do sometimes have some extra amenities, um, but um, it really comes down to what works best for you. So. Yeah. I will throw in this, um, if you are the type of person, and this might be a type A, type B type person type thing, where if you enjoy being around people constantly and being around the energy and going and going to the shows and going to the, the dance party and the karaoke and just from, the, from as soon as you have your morning coffee, you're ready to go out and just stay out as late as possible and enjoy being around all other people. Maybe a balcony isn't going to give you that much advantage, but if you're the type of person, like myself, who gets a little drained after being around a large group of people for a long time and needs a break, wants to go back to the cabin and just kind of have a quiet place where you can still enjoy being on the cruise and sitting and having coffee or a cocktail or reading a book um, out on your own balcony, just the two of you, or just by yourself um, and enjoying the, the ocean or the view in the port, um, then a balcony cabin might be worth it for you. Um, check on the prices, that'll be a deciding factor for you too, because if the balcony cabin costs more than you can afford, obviously that's not an option. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, an ocean view cabin can be a good compromise because you still at least have a view out to the sea. Um, and the digital balcony sounds really cool. Yeah, the virtual balconies, those those can be, um, those, those are pretty cool because you can see what's going on out there. Um, 
you know, but you you can't really step outside, obviously, because so you're if inside. If you had a digital balcony, let us know what mm -hmm. you thought of it. Comment down below, yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's see, there was one other thing I wanted to say. Um, uh, when, when it comes to, to uh, uh, booking a, a balcony cabin, keep in mind um, you can, and this, this is for any class of, of cabin, they have guarantee cabins, guarantee balcony, oh. guarantee ocean view, guarantee um, uh, inside, whatever. Wow, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, and you can tell who does the booking in this family because she didn't know that, and <laughs> she also thinks that's something really cool. But actually guarantee means you don't get a choice of where your room is. Oh. It just means they guarantee you'll get that class of room. Oh. So be aware of that when you choose, if you choose a balcony or any kind of cabin, take a look on, or have your travel agent take a look and see what's above and what's next to, uh, as far as noise goes or anything else that might uh, be a problem for you. And uh, keep an eye out for any obstructions. Some balconies and ocean views have, have uh, lifeboats or tender boats so that are blocking your view and you can't see hardly anything. Exactly. So you might as well not even have a balcony or inside cabin. So keep an eye out for that. And if you book a guarantee um, balcony, you may get one of those and you may be expecting this beautiful view of the ocean and you don't get it. For get us, the view of a boat. The uh, big orange or red <laughs> lifeboat, which probably isn't what you're looking for. No bueno. Right. So um, keep that in mind. For us, and we kind of already gave this away, um, our favorite type of balcony cabin is one that has a view looking which way? Towards the very back. Towards the back, the, the aft. aft. balconies, yes. Yep. Yes, and if you're sailing on some ships, like Carnival has several ships, where they do have some corner aft balconies Ooh. that are only cost a little extra and they have huge wraparound balconies. Those are really nice. Right, so keep that in mind. Um, balcony cabins, to us, they're worth it, mm -hmm. but you know, would you pay twice as much as an inside cabin? It depends on you. Yeah. yeah. And um, sometimes you're only an extra hundred bucks, sometimes you're, you know, an extra, almost an extra thousand dollars. I don't know. Wow. So um, this has been our view. Comment down below with your thoughts. And uh, if you enjoyed this information, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, definitely. And let us know what your favorite cabin is and the mm -hmm. reason why. Your favorite type, your favorite uh, cabin you've ever experienced specifically on any cruise line or whatever, comment down below and be sure to subscribe and put that, click that notification bell so you're alerted when we have a new video. Exactly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.